Do you see my white hair? Do you see this? I'm getting so old. Welcome back guys, welcome back to the vlog. I can tell you that I did not vlog this week. Reason is because of the events that went on during this weekend. And I've spent the whole week trying to understand what's going on. Trying to process everything that's happened. And then I realize how stupid of a nation that we are in America. I just get really pissed off and I got really angry this week. And I try to smile through my days Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I want to move on from this. I want to get back to vlogging. I want to get back to this community. We are a strong community here on YouTube. We love each other. I do believe that what we do here is good. It, it's a good thing that we're doing this, you know, and we have something good. Not so much the country that we're in, but we are trying to do something good. And I do believe in that. I believe in positivity. I believe in karma. I believe in just good vibes. And I want more of that. We have been getting so much terrible news and I just want us to get back up, you know? It's okay to be sad, but we're not going to let that define how we're going to live our lives. We will not live in fear and we will do our best to be good human beings. I know you guys are great people. I know you guys are lovely, caring people. Let's move on with the vlog. So I didn't pick up the camera on Sunday, obviously for obvious reasons, but I did meet up with my friend Jess and she, well, she didn't introduce me. Like she introduced me to Cynthia a long time ago. She took me to see Cynthia, who I haven't seen in such a long time. It's been at least a year and a half, I think. Anyway, Cynthia is a photographer and she was scouting for an ad agency. I'm not too sure about the details. She did bring me to Cynthia and apparently she's, you know, scouting for for Asian people, Asian men, Asian women who look like high schoolers. So I, I was really flattered that, you know, they thought that I look that age. Asians don't raisin rat. But anyways, yeah, we went to a impromptu, not really impromptu, I, I don't even know what to call this. It wasn't like a photo shoot. Cynthia literally met us at a park and um, got a quick snap uh, or a quick few snaps of our faces and then we just, you know, continued on with what we were doing during the day. Anyways, so yeah, Cynthia told us that if the ad agency wants us, they will email us. And guess what happened? I got an email yesterday saying that um, I'm called in for casting, which is really cool. Uh, I've never been called to a casting and it's awesome. It feels great because it feels like, you know, you're sitting with the cool kids or whatever, you know? This is gonna be my first casting thing. So I really wanna take you guys with me on this journey, this experience, this is so new to me. I don't know if Jess, has done this before, but she also got a call to casting our friend Melinda also. So far, those are the two people I know. The casting date is tomorrow, and then if we do get call back or whatever, is that even what you call it? If they do want us, basically, we'll go back on June 28th and we're going to shoot um, photos. We're gonna take photos, or they're gonna take photos of us if we do get the call. I don't know if I can mention the client, but Basically, it's like um, they want people who look normal. So I'm glad that I look normal. I look average and boring. It's a good thing that we look boring, okay? We're gonna, hopefully I'm gonna see Jess or Melinda tomorrow because casting tomorrow is between 10 to one and then two to four, I think. I don't remember, but we're going tomorrow. So hopefully I'll see either one of them, or if not both of them, which is gonna be great. I'm gonna bring you guys with me tomorrow, but I don't know if they'll let me vlog though, you know? If they don't let me vlog, then well, I can't vlog. It'll be really interesting to see what goes on during a casting. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll continue tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is Friday and like I said yesterday, I'm going to a cl class. I'm going to a casting today. You have no idea how nervous I am right now. I'm freaking out a little bit inside, obviously. Outside too. Also, I mentioned yesterday how I'll try to vlog the casting process and I realized I have to backtrack because I didn't mean casting. I meant if I do get a call back from casting and I do go to the photo shoot, 
then I'll vlog. I'm not gonna vlog within the casting room today because that's totally inappropriate and weird. I think I said that yesterday instead of saying what I actually meant. That's what I actually meant. I meant if I do get a call back from casting, then I'm gonna vlog the whole photo shoot process. But I am bringing you guys with me because I am going to the city today for the shoot. I mean, for this casting. See, I always get it mixed up, so. But I am going to the city and I can't wait to show you guys the airplane flying above me. I hear the stupid plane flying above me, but I can never see it. It's like a ghost plane. Finally made it to the city, and I'm at 34th right now by Hudson Yards, and I'm walking over there, and I'm really late. I feel terrible. So I think I'm here. Don't really know where the place is. Uh, smells like weed everywhere here. We're in Chelsea now, I think. We might not be in Chelsea. Alright, the photo shoot is done. It was really quick. I didn't get to see Jess or Melinda because I was late and they kind of just left, which is understandable. Um, but I'm gonna go check out the Gagosian Gallery right now. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Also, the elevator took forever, so I'm taking the stairs. It's a lot healthier too. Google has been the worst. It's been telling me to go different places, not telling me to go the place that I'm supposed to go, and I was lost for like a good 10 minutes right now. So my friend Jessica actually told me to come here because they were just here like after their shoot. Now I'm here alone though. Richard Serra, he's like one of the best artists I've known. Well, I, I don't know him personally, but... Okay, let's check out the other room. <laughs> I've only seen pictures of Richard Serra's work. It's my first time up close and personal with his work. Oh my god, people here are so nice. Oh, we're back here. We're back at where we started. So there's only three rooms in this exhibit, which is really cool. I feel like there should be more. I think I see a face here. Eyes, nose, and the mouth is gone. Usually at exhibits, I can easily tell which one's like my most favorite exhibit or room or whatever, but this one is hard to decide. I think I like the second room the best. This one's interesting, but I, I'm not getting it. I like the second room where there's like that long, uh, long wall. Still, but definitely worth it checking out. Have you guys ever had that feeling where you're wearing a backpack and you're just sweating on your back? And now the whole back is so sweaty, I don't think I can take off my back because a really big sweat print on my back right now. So, right now, I am uh, just chilling at the High Line. The main reason why I'm here is so I can air out my back from the sweat. It's embarrassing, but let's, let's check out the High Line. Just you and me together today.
middle of the road. There is always construction going on in New York City. It's a good thing and also a bad thing. back home guys it's so hot outside like I can't even right now and the worst part is the MTA likes to blast their AC on and then all of a sudden you just become a walking piece of meat with sticky condensation all over you that's not a really nice picture to paint but that's how I felt like today also I got food I'm super hungry I realized I did not eat anything all day I woke up went to the casting on an empty stomach because I figured it's gonna be quick, so let's do that, right? And then after the casting, I was wandering about, like you guys saw, in Chelsea, and I forgot to eat. And now that I'm home, I grabbed a bagel like usual, so. Oh, and also, I have to show you guys this. This is Kirkland's, actually, it's by Kirkland, and I think that's like a Costco brand. It's dark chocolate, roasted, no, sorry, toasted, coconut, cashews. Cashews are my favorite nut, and walnuts too, I think and peanuts, I love nuts. Anyways, these are coated in chocolate and that's just like, who invented these stuff? Like, why aren't we best friends yet? Anyways, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new and join the family. See you in the next vlog. Peace on the streets. Son. Uh, just come out already. Stop it. Stop. It's not funny anymore. I'm surprised my phone survived this long with this stupid ass battery stuck in here for so long.